You've seen those time-lapse videos where it seems as if time is flying by and you can see four seasons in four seconds. Or those slow motion videos where everything slows down and you can see every bit of detail, tiny drops falling from leaves and flowers as it rains. And those boomerang app videos that go back and forth in time. Today's video talks about how these movies are made. To understand how time lapse and slow motion videos work, first thing we need to understand is how movies are made in general. Take a look at this movie. A gray ball here moves from left to right. This is how it was made. I took a frame with the ball to the left in it. Then a second frame where I moved the ball a tiny bit to the right as shown by the arrow. Then a bit more in the third frame and a bit more in the fourth. More and more. I think you get the idea. I made 30 frames just like that. Then I showed each frame one after another like on a film strip in a total time of 2 seconds. And here we go. This is how I made that movie. So in general, this is how all movies work with frames. All movies either played or recorded using your phone, digital SLR, or even a movie theater projector playing a movie work on the same principle and have two important parameters that define the movie. First, it's the total number of frames that make up that movie, and the other in how much time duration these frames are played. The rate at which these frames are recorded or played is called its frame rate, measured in frames per second, or simply FPS. Let's make a real movie with images taken with a digital SLR to understand the concept. Here are 45 images taken at 9 frames per second. These images are played one after another in 5 seconds. Here's the result. A 5 second movie, 9 frames per second frame rate, all 45 images. This movie is called a real time movie because it's played at the same frame rate, 9 frames per second, same as the frame rate at which it was recorded. Now let's talk about time lapse movies. Although it worked on the same principle, but things get very interesting with time lapse. Look at this flower opening up in the morning. In reality, this process took over 2 hours. I took a picture starting at 9am, then another at 9.02, then 9.04, and so on, taking a picture every 2 minutes until 11am. That totaled up to 61 images. And then I played them all in 3 seconds, so the video was a total of 3 seconds instead of 2 hours. This video is called a time lapse video. I just took a 2 hour process and shrunk it down in time to be shown in 3 seconds. The key here is that the recorded frame rate is not equal to the playback frame rate. Here's another example of a 6 second time lapse video. I took a picture every 10 minutes and then played it at 5 images per second. So remember I mentioned that the recording frame rate is always less than the playback frame rate for a time lapse movie? But what would happen if the recording frame rate is actually greater than the playback frame rate? Aha, uh -huh. that is called a slow motion video. A slow motion video always has the recording frame rate greater than the playback. Slow motion videos work on a similar principle, but a lot of images are taken in just one second. An iPhone 11 can shoot up to 240 frames per second. Did you know Caltech has developed a camera that can record up to 10 trillion frames per second? With that, you can even see light move in slow motion. So this slow motion video was recorded at 240 frames per second and played at 30 frames per second. It slowed down time by a factor of 8, which is calculated by 240 divided by 30. Here it is again. You can see every bit of detail of drops falling from the leaves in slow motion. So here's a summary for movies in general. In real time movies, recording frame rate is always equal to the playback frame rate. In time lapse movies, recording frame rate is less than the playback frame rate. And in slow motion videos, recording frame rate is always greater than the playback frame rate. Oh, and by the way, there's an app called Boomerang that makes videos that go forward and then reverse in time. What that does is takes the recorded frames and completely flips them around. Like this. And now if you look carefully, the first frame is now frame number 30. And the last frame is frame number 1. 
Then it plays the original video and frame flipped video all in time lapse and keeps looping this process. Here's an example. The flower opens and then closes back up. And another with a quick weather change. So there you go. You learned all about real time, time lapse, slow motion, and boomerang videos. By the way, this is a real time 30 frame per second video. Thanks for watching and keep on learning.